Hi friends, I'm Mary Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing a series that I started a long time ago. <laughs> we are continuing, finally, watching Only Murders in the Building. This was the first show I ever watched on my channel with you guys. You can tell it's been a really long time because my hair is like short and completely bleach damaged and blue. Um, so it's been a hot minute. I remember when season two came out I did not watch it because I really I knew I wanted to watch it on here with you guys but then I just never got around to it and then season three came out this year and I still haven't watched anything more than the first season um I have recently in the past like week or so rewatched season one so I am caught up I do remember everything that happens in season one now and I'm so excited to get into season two I feel like the only thing I really remember seeing about season two is I think Cara Delevingne is in it I'm not quite sure I I don't know if that's just something that was like put out on the internet or if it's something that's actually going to be true, I guess we'll find out. Quick little recap of season one to refresh all of our memories. Um, we have our three main characters. We have Oliver Putnam, played by Martin Short. We have Charles Hayden Savage, played by Steve Martin. And we have Mabel Mora, played by Selena Gomez. Our three main characters first come together over their shared love of true crime podcasts. And when Tim Kono, someone who lives in their building, is killed, they all come together to create a true crime podcast of their own to investigate Tim's death. It very quickly becomes apparent that all three of them are kind of connected to Tim Kono's death. Um, Mabel, because she and Tim kind of grew up together on and off at the Arconia, they were friends growing up. Oliver is connected to Tim Kono's death because it comes to light that Teddy Demas, who is Oliver's longtime friend and supporter of all of his artistic pursuits, um, and also sponsor of their podcast, uh, is actually running an underground grave robbing jewelry business that Tim Kono was trying to expose and shut down. And Charles is connected because he starts dating the killer. Uh, we don't find that out until later on, but Charles starts dating Jan, another person who lives in the building, and it comes to light at the end of the season that Jan was actually dating Tim Kono and he broke up with her, so she poisoned him and then shot him to make it look like a suicide, which was wild. And the fact that I, like, kind of jokingly, like, clocked that and picked up on it makes me feel like I'm really smart. So we'll see if I can figure out what's going down in season two, but get ready for some theories that are probably very wrong. <laughs> and then at the very end of the season, we find Mabel knelt over a bloody dead body in her apartment. And that dead body happens to be Bunny, who is like, I guess the head tenant. She's not a landlord, but... Maybe she is the landlord? I don't know. She's like a big important person in the building, right? But then the cops come in and all three of them are arrested and that is where we ended season one. So we're gonna get right into it with season two of Only Murders in the Building, finally. And we're gonna start with season two, episode one called Persons of Interest. I'm putting my detective hat on, seeing if we can figure out who did a murder. New York City. New York City. Who doesn't want to become the talk of the town here? Brussels Bamboozles bad guy? You can become famous for doing good things, or you can become infamous for doing truly terrible acts. Oh no, is he gonna fall down the hole? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Was that a fantasy? Was that real? I don't know. You know, the only thing that could be worse for you two low-hanging dehydrated scroll sacks <laughs> as if you were I did try your podcast yeah it's, uh, it's absolute shit <laughs> one part from the first episode let's just say it uh stuck out oh no I wake up and there's a man standing over me 
So I kick him right in the nuts and I grab my knitting needle and I take him down to the bone with that thing. Yeah, it's bad. Not good. A woman magically appears in your apartment with a goddamn knitting needle in her chest? Come on. I went to get champagne and Bunny was just there. That's all I remember. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. This is bullshit. <sighs> Maple, there's so many fucking holes in your story. You know, there's more fucking holes in your story than we have in our victim, and that's a lot of fucking holes. Eight fucking holes to be Eight? But the fact that she said that in the first podcast episode means that someone could easily have taken that, done that, just to pin it on her. What did you do with the knife? Knife? Yeah. What did you do with the knife? The blade. Oh, she was stabbed with a knife and then it was the knitting needle. So you have three people who solved two crimes that you couldn't figure out. Facts. Who are now clearly being framed. Facts. And you don't even have the real murder weapon. Facts. Oh, these cops ain't shit. They got nothing on them. Wow, look at this. Hold it a second. They cropped me out? <laughs> This is such <laughs> bullshit. You know, I'm also involved in this. And you're upset that you're not in the paper? <laughs> you are all persons of interest now. Thank you. That means no investigating. That means no fucking podcast. More, please tell the tiny one to stop recording me. <laughs> please put the tiny one. <laughs> the tiny one. You're free to return to your homes. So, get a new hobby now. I do not give a damn what it is. Just as long as it doesn't land you in jail. Like knitting? <laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, they're gonna do the podcast, right? They're gonna clear their names. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Oliver. They were wrong. Oliver Putnam can get arrested in this <laughs> And oh, baby, does that feel wonderful? We're live right now. Please. I'm not signing, please. <laughs> I love him so much. I wonder who did it. I'm trying to think. Is it gonna be someone completely new? Cause then that wouldn't, like, I don't know. Would that make sense? Who else hated Bunny enough to kill her and frame it on them? Who hated Bunny and who hated them? So, uh, Bunny was just... There, I think. Did you see anyone else? Well, how could that be? The vent! You know, we have a... We have a real opportunity. No, no. You heard Detective Williams. We can't get tied into... I can't... Oliver, stop! <laughs> I need a life away from death. Yeah, she has been through a lot. Is she even going to be able to stay in her own apartment? Oh, is there still going to be like a huge blood stain? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It still looks wet. Oh, she was already, oh, she was already stabbed. Oh, she was already stabbed. <gasps> How did she get it all over her? Did she like fall on her? Oh my God, who did it? Oh, to have to come right back and, oh God. That's so rough. They must have left through the vent then, right? I would not want to stay in this apartment. Ugh. Why are all these people taking this picture of her? Wow, that's so pretty. Hello, Mabel. She is in it! I know this is insane given all you're going through. A stranger sending you a random video message. But I really love your mural and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. I know this is last minute, but the gallery are having a little opening tomorrow and we're wondering if you wanted to come. So, yeah. Sending you lots of love and hope to hear from you. Bye. <sighs> Go to the gallery opening. That'd be fun. Thanks, lover. Amy Schumer. Well, hello there, Amy Schumer. Oh, she's playing herself. I really enjoyed Only Murders in the Building. Oh, uh, thank you. No, no, much. no. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Is she going to be relevant or is this just going to be like a, the Sting cameo and like have it be nothing? Would you ever consider selling me the rights to the podcast so I could turn it into an eight to ten episode streaming series with exclusive internet content leading to gamification? This is a thought you just had? <laughs> So is she going to be like part of the season then? Or was that kind of pointless? Guess we'll see. We're picked up for a series already. 18 episodes on CBX. 
Wow. With Naomi Jackson. I love her. Who's she playing? She's Brazos. She's... And I would be... Uncle Brazos. <laughs> He's not happy about that. We had you in mind for this early on, but... Honestly, we thought you were dead. <laughs> The new girl apartment. <gasps> oh, she cut her hair. Oh my god. Stop it. It looks so good. I love it. Oh my god. I'm really glad you came. I'm so glad you're not. She's already eye fucking her. <laughs> I don't just DM any old broad. Why me? It's an instinct. And we could use some new energy in our collective. So, this is what? A recruitment? Mm. Total recruitment. How am I doing? Decently. Mm. I might need a pamphlet. Mm. You know, Frida didn't have an MFA. She didn't even have two working legs, but what she did have is natural talent and everyone's attention. Remind you of anyone? Comparing her to Frida Kahlo? That's an ego boost, damn. In my new podcast, Only Murderers in the Building, we'll probe into the Arconia and three residents who remain prime suspects. Cinda Canning. A washed up television cop whose blurred sense of fact and fiction led him into a tangled romance with the last Arconia murderer and whose father spent the latter years of his life in and out of prison. Wait, what? We don't know much about uh, Charles's actual like backstory. She's stealing our format. Senda doesn't even know what happened that night. What did happen that night? It's all a blur except except what what's she gonna tell us i think bunny said something oh <gasps> what'd she say <gasps> oh, oh, 14. 14 14 14 who who lives on 14 who lives on 14 we know what we have to do we need to go full ollie mabel here what the fuck? What? Ollie Mabel. That's our ship name. <laughs> All our names put into one. Where is the Charles and Ollie Mabel? <laughs> the Charles is silent. <laughs> Mabel, don't you want to clear your name too? My whole life has been defined by this crap. Mm. I'd like to try and be an artist. So if it takes clearing my name to feel that more, mm. finding who really did this. What? I'm sorry. I... Is that a bird? Did Bunny have a bird? Kick it. Kick it. Oh. oh, look at that. That would be my worst nightmare. Crawling through an air vent, I'm way too claustrophobic. Could not even bring myself to go in. Even though that looks like a big air vent, I couldn't do it. Doesn't matter how big it is. If I can't, like, walk in it, nope, not doing it. Hello? Get out. That sounds horrifying. Beautiful. Stuff it up your ass. Why does he sound exactly like Bunny? So, listen, listen, since we are here, why don't we just split up and search around? Well, notes. I, I may have written a few I'd like to retrieve. <laughs> like basically how I wanted Bunny to die when she was trying to evict us. Oh, smart. Real smart. Because, you know, death threats always work out really well. No one who actually is going to kill someone is going to be like, I'm going to write you a note telling you that I'm going to kill you. Right? Logically? That doesn't make any sense. Who's coming into our apartment? Come on! Horrifying. I hate it. Who is it? I need to know who it is. Rose Cooper painting that she has. It's very porny. A naked man wrapped around a woman's leg, very balls forward. I don't want to see that. We need to wrap it up so I can take it to the appraiser. It's in the bedroom here. It's coming this way. Come in here. Could be worth a million. Oh, the painting's gone. Check this out. <gasps> Bunny, what secrets do you have? What the fuck? <gasps> Where does it go? Hell? Let's find out. Wait, it's freezing in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like super old elevator. This is like. Fucking Tower of Terror style of elevator. Jesus, Bunny had a lot going on. Yeah, but still, that was way this too close. This is so wild. We got a huge clue. We find the painting, we find the killer. 
Oh, that's a good line, Charles. Say, say that again. Startup season two. We need it. Oliver, I agreed to check Bunny's apartment, not podcast about it. Oh, so you're just let Cindy Canning tell the story she wants to tell with no pushback? Look, we know she's going to make a killer podcast that makes us all look like killers. I'm going to hate hearing Senda get it wrong. Do you still have that murder board? I do. Starting it up again. We have to. We've been warned not to speak out or speak our truth. To just let others tell our story. But we here at Only Murders in the building, we will not be going quietly. Love that. <laughs> Much love. Ooh, best wishes on the front. Dear Bunny, I want that painting. Come here right away. What happened? Fourteen. Savage. 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 Does he live on fourteen? Was it the stunt double? There's the painting. Someone's really fucking with us. Charles? Is that you? No. It's my father. Ew! <laughs> 14. Savage. Those are the two things that Bunny said. So, I'm thinking immediately, somehow, Charles's dad has got to be involved, right? Because we learned that his dad was also like in and out of prison. So maybe there's some kind of like weird history with him and Bunny. Because he's because Charles has lived at the Arconia for over 30 years now. But could it also have potentially been Charles's stunt double, Pataki? Because they look so similar. But maybe that's just kind of a throwaway thing. I don't know if we're gonna see her again this season. We also haven't seen Oscar at all yet this season. Are we gonna see Oscar at all? Like, is he just gonna disappear? Cause he was standing outside when they all got arrested at the end of season one. So are we just like not gonna see him? I don't know, I feel like that would be weird. That would be like just kind of cutting off a story before anything really happened. I wasn't expecting to get so much in just one episode. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see where we get, like what we get next. Because, I mean, we're only going to get more information from here. <gasps> oh, this is fun. This is fun. This is cool. This is good. All right, we're going to get into the next episode because I want to know what's going to happen. This is season two, episode two, called Framed. The story of Bunny Folger begins with the story of the Arconia. Oh, okay. Each of Archibald's buildings have little secrets known only to the architect himself. Oh, that's fun. I love that kind of stuff. So I guess she was the landlord then. Ew, freaking peeping Tom. How do you not see a hole like that in your closet? Archibald's daughter, Leonora, married one Mr. Folger and raised their daughter, Bunny, in the Arconia. Oh, wow, okay. Why doesn't mom want you to be an actor? Because she's a dream killer, son. Is that Charles', Charles dad? Look at that building. Yeah. I hit it big. We're gonna live there. Who? We're gonna get so deep into Charles' daddy issues in this season. Love that. I love when characters have daddy issues. It's my favorite. Was he a model? Was he a, a gigolo? Was he sleeping with Rose Cooper? A highly esteemed and very horny artist. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have to get this out of here so we all don't look like murderers. And I can focus back on me. I have a meeting later with Amy Schumer. Uh, guys, this painting is called Savage. What? Bunny said <sighs> something to me before she died. 14. In addition to 14, Savage. She said Savage. It's about the painting. I'm so interested to know. Someone definitely came in through the vent, right? Like, they stole the painting from Bunny's apartment, right? 
stole the painting from Bunny's apartment. I don't know what they could have done with it. But then, maybe they stole the painting, they, like, stashed it, and then they came back to, like, find Bunny or something, or confront Bunny, and then they went through the vent, and then Bunny went over to Mabel's, and then they stabbed her a bunch of times with a knife, and then took the knitting needle to frame Mabel, and then put the painting in Charles' apartment to frame Charles. And somehow, somehow Oliver will end up in all this, too. I don't know. Does that make sense? Probably not. Oh, goody. The murderers are here. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? We brought dip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of those podcast girls was sniffing around about you. Bought ten cases of gut milk. Which podcast girl? Glasses, white, nosy. Syndicating. Nina Lynn, if I may, I would just like to assure all of you as the new board president, I will not let Bunny's demise adversely affect the building. I'm in charge now, and a new era begins. Hmm. I will only say this. If you thought Bunny was a bitch, wait till you get a load of this one. Bunny was not a bitch. She was all alone in this world. No <clears throat> children, no family, only me. Fuck off. And Mrs. Goddamn Gambolini. <laughs> Actually, uh, we're not sure the killer has the painting. Of course the killer has the painting. Are you talking about my painting? <gasps> I'm Leonora Folger, the mother of Bunny. Come, come, sir. Come, 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 come. Why is she sniffing them? It's like a dog trying to sniff out drugs. None of them did it. They oh, okay. She's like a dog. She can smell guilt. <laughs> She's terrifying, but I love her. <laughs> it is her painting. Maybe she knew Rose Cooper. Maybe she knew my dad. <gasps> Maybe she killed Bunny to get it. <gasps> her own mother. Well, who's the woman in the painting? Maybe the woman in the painting is Bunny's mom. <laughs> okay, Charles, we will text you when we're downstairs for the painting so we can sneak it up. And please, I beg of you, just be cool. Hey. Who's cooler than me? So many people. Everyone. Who's making you smile like that? Mm -hmm. Oscar? Oh, um, no. I mean, the trauma bond is strong, but I think Oscar and I are just both waiting for the let's just be friends text, you know? Uh, yeah. Then why hasn't it happened yet, babe? There's also a hot British woman flirting with her. Wait, are they bringing it to the, the elevator that goes up to Bunny's apartment? Wait, how'd they get it to this elevator? Oliver! Are oh, you geez. kidding me? Where were you? you <sighs> okay, you know, I'm putting this in the dumpster. No, that's worth <gasps> No! Nothing ends well if we end up with the stab lady's painting. Who's coming now? What's happening? Oh, this is not good. Yeah. You can't leave that painting there! Oh, that's gonna get so fucked. No idea what happened to the victim's valuable art. We went back to motive. <laughs> People who hate us. Kill Bunny Bulger or to implicate one or all of us in a murder. I don't think it would be any of them. I think that's too obvious. It could... Me? Charles? Why are you doing that, babe? I feel like it, there could be something with Uma. I don't know. But I don't think it's going to involve any of the people from last season. I think it's going to be someone new. Have you heard of an artist named Rose Cooper? Of course. Yeah. Subversive, classical. Um, she died mysteriously. Mysteriously? Yeah. When? I want to show you something. Wow. It's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Because it's you. And 
I want you to destroy it. It's a weird way to flirt. Please tell me it's still there. No, of course it's not there. Of course it's not there. What were you expecting? What is that? Oh, that? Don't tell me she found it. I had a thought about a video series on art, his therapy. I can tell you're not the type of person to get through something by meditating. You need something more visceral. Close your eyes for a moment. I want you to think of what you've been forced to carry. I mean, I'm sure this is very therapeutic, but having footage of her doing something violent, maybe not the best thing right now. What's it made of? Wood? Oh, it looks like it is wood, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Wow. You really did that. Hmm. I actually meant for you to metaphorically destroy it. You gave her an axe! I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I feel better. <gasps> Love this. I knew it was I knew it was coming, right? I mean the vibes were there from this first <laughs> the first video. Good, good stuff. I like it. So you knew Rose Cooper? Well, I happened to meet her. She was desperate to get away from a man and she didn't have any money. So I bought her painting. And soon after that she went missing. And then soon after that, they declared her dead. Charles's dad? Maybe? These two murders, deaths, they're gonna be connected, right? Did Rose happen to live across the street from here? Mm-hmm, she did. Wait here, read your book. I'll be back in an hour after my audition. Then we'll go to Nathan's and get a hot dog, okay? Okay. Joe will look after you. Thanks, Joe. That's not an audition, that's a, that's a booty call. It was his dad, right? That she was trying to get away from? Hey, I found out something about that Rose Cooper painting. My painting? Okay, Amy Schumer has Bunny's painting. She's gonna look like the killer. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh my. No, the canvas was torn in the back. And the artist was broke, so she glued over it, and then this isn't torn. This is, this is a reproduction. Oh, what? Someone replaced it with a fake? It's not the real painting. So then the actual killer must have the real painting. Why would she have a replica made? Or did the killer have it made? Yeah. To frame us. That's what I thought. So I took a closer look at Bunny's will. There's something she wanted you to have. No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's so funny. Her life expectancy is 80 years. Maybe the bird will tell them something that they could know. Ooh, that has been more than an hour, hasn't it? Little baby Charles. Okay, buddy. What's happening? Come on, that's my son. Dad! Wait. Wait, Dad! What about the hot dog? Boy's got lots of daddy issues. I think my father is in that painting. Well, of course he is. You knew? But I'm, I'm not blind. Well, I am blind, but I'm not that blind. I was having an affair with your father for years. Is it the two of them in the painting? I thought Rose Cooper was. She was too. What happened to him? My dad, um, nothing good. Drinking, and jail, and he died while I was young. Okay, so his dad's dead. What's Mrs. Gambolini doing here? Isn't this fun? Eat shit. Maybe I can donate to like an orphanage. <laughs> Yeah, orphans will love that. Hey! Hey! Ah. 
Is she going to recite something from... I know who did it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh god, I forgot how much I love this show. See, I knew the bird was going to... The second that I heard the bird talking, I knew that it was going to like give us some sort of clue, okay? I feel like Bunny and Rose Cooper and Charles's dad like this is all like everything's everything is already very like connected but I still have no idea who could have stolen the real painting see I think that the real painting was stolen and the person who stole it is the person that killed Bunny and made a replica of it maybe I don't know who could it be I'm so excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna think up some theories that might be wrong. Who knows? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and starting season two of Only Murders in the Building. I'm so excited to get back into this show. I'm so excited to explore more of this murder, figure out what happened to Bunny, and learn even more about our characters than we knew before. Um, I'm excited to dive deeper and look like a fool with all of my really bad theories so stay tuned we're gonna have plenty of them to come thanks for hanging out with me i will see you all in the next one for more only murders in the building bye